shoes. Definitely, definitely need new shoes. I mean, these guys, they're beat. I don't know where my keys are. I just pulled out my phone to change the song and I was like, my keys are not in here. Damn it. Literally just running, looking at the ground where I ran to see if I can see them. I keep, I keep the keys in this back butt pocket of my shorts and my phone and my keys are the only things that are in there. And then when I pulled my phone out to change the song, the pocket was still zipped so I feel like the keys couldn't have come out during the run I kind of feel like they're sitting right by my apartment but I locked the door to my apartment so that means they're probably in my apartment building not my apartment uh, I don't see it if they're not right outside the elevator that's gonna suck Did I lock my door? Did I even bring it? Yeah, I brought my keys. Damn. Just got done. I lost my keys, dude. Jack. Cause I'm stupid. Yeah. 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 Never found my keys, so I'm just gonna have to get a spare. Got the new shoes, Hoka Men's Carbon X. I got two pairs, cause uh, I read that if you run a lot of miles, you're supposed to alternate every day what shoes you're running in so that the, uh, the foam on the soles can recover and then it doesn't, uh, doesn't wear as much on the shoe. But I really liked these today. They feel a lot better than the Nikes. They fit my foot a lot better and they're lighter too, so. But, big day today because I reached out to a guy who directs music videos here in Los Angeles and he responded to me and he wants to meet me today, which is very exciting. So I have a meeting with him at two o'clock today. Um, I don't really know what we're gonna talk about. Hopefully, my hope is that by the end of the conversation, I can maybe like get on an upcoming project with him, even if I'm like production assistant and I just get everybody coffee, like just having something to do. Kept the positive attitude. That was what I was talking about last episode. Kept it, now we got something. Okay, I forgot to bring my camera with me, so I'm filming this on my phone, but I'm headed to that meeting right now over in Burbank. Pretty excited, I'm a little nervous, uh, but I'll, you know, I'll let you got. <laughs> that went, I mean, even way better than I could have expected. Super nice guy, got a lot of different projects going on. He's in like a lot of different fields he owns a production company and wants me to help out with a lot of different projects so i'm psyched i feel like this this is going to be like the first thing like the first step
So it's been about one week since I had that meeting where I went to uh, kind of do like an interview type of thing. I do have that job. I will be starting it next week. When it comes to the projects and stuff like that, it's for their company, their media channels first, obviously, sort of like it was with Auburn. So uh, don't know how much I'll be able to share on here, but I did want to talk about how I was able to get the initial offering so what I tried to do, and I feel like this would apply to if you are trying to uh, get a job in the sports videography world, which I had at Auburn, or if you're trying to get a job in the video world in Los Angeles, like I'm trying to get into right now, I went with basically two guiding principles. So the first thing was I tried to figure out where I would be of value to the person that I was sending the email to. So for me, I felt like where I bring the most value would be either behind the camera or in editing. Whenever I sent an email, the email usually stated something along the lines of, hey, my name is Jack Cook. I just graduated from college and moved out to Los Angeles. Here's what I'm able to do and why I think it would be helpful for you. Your goal shouldn't really be to like impress them or something like that. It should be for you to make them realize that you could bring value to them. So I would say something along the lines of like, I've seen your work or I've seen the types of things that you do and I think that I would be able to help you with the projects that you are currently doing or for future projects that you have coming up. And then in every email I send my reel because that's kind of the easy portfolio piece to show some of my cinematography skills and my editing skills. And then the second thing was persistence. So I've been out here for like a month and a half now, I probably sent 50 or 60 of those emails to all different types of people and I've gotten one response. I always like to say that the first no always leads to a better yes. And so all of these like no's or no responses in the case of the emails, all of those people that didn't respond or have said no led to me getting this response, which is the thing that I'm supposed to be doing. So yeah, that's kind of what I did. I hope that's helpful how you can bring value to somebody else and then being persistent. That's basically the two things that I went off of uh, and was able to get this first response. We'll see where it goes. So I'm excited to document the journey.